converted begging bowls. The renovations of Shredagon to become the present size and appearance was done by successive kings and collections from individual donors through its long history. Well, nobody may not have such a scenic panoramic bird's eye view to see the surrounding areas and the platform. This is just our cameraman's attempt to show roadways from the eastern side to southern approach. The panoramic view is more spectacular with rising spires. Western Gate was closed after annexation of Lower Myanmar in 1852. The garrison was later removed in 1929, and the gate was completely demilitarized in Renovations to the body of the pagoda and regilding is done every four years. Then a bamboo scaffolding is made around the pagoda body to shelter the gilding process from wind. Formerly, the whole body was encased with the scaffolding, but since about the time the large thick gold plates were used for permanent covering for upper part of the body, only lower part is still being gilded with thin flimsy gold leaves. The scaffolding is made by traditional method of using bamboos, reed mats, and coconut fiber robes. It takes about 100 days to complete the reshining process. Gold dust is scrubbed or brushed and collected by traditional means. After about three months, the Great Pagoda is glittering and gleaming in gold again. This image of God holding a baby boy is most approached by childless couples or couples who need baby boys. A belief not directly connected to religious faith. There always is a couple or two seeking help from the baby giving God.
One day before Myanmar New Year. It is one of the most auspicious days to mark the ending of an old year. Sins, misdeeds, all bad things of moral and physical are to be discarded and face a new year with purely good mind and body. Releasing cage sparrows and fish to their habitat of freedom. Doing meditation individually or collectively. Offering flowers and candlelight to the great shrine at this auspicious time of the year end. And chanting scriptures and praying for well-being of the country and the world. Myanmar is going to have a brighter tomorrow by the blessing of the great golden shrine. <laughs>